just gets funnier and funnier, doesn't it? So yesterday, Sunak announced more help um, to ease the cost of living crisis that his policies created. So what's he doing? He's, he's, um, he's going to distribute one-off payments to households. Uh, everyone's going to get 400 quid, magic money. And uh, some people on benefits are going to get even more than that. And um, so he, apparently he said that um, this, ex this increase in expenditure is going to be financed by a windfall tax on the profits made by energy companies. Now, again, um, I think I've mentioned this before. In England, there is zero, close to zero economics education. So what kids in Britain are told, taught is that uh, profits are kind of evil capitalist exploitation. They're not taught that uh, profits are used by companies for reinvestment. And um, reinvestment is needed to replace worn out machinery or uh, capital equipment that's past its sell by late date because there's been technological advances so all of this stuff is, is energy companies in particular they need to invest so uh, where do they get the money from and surpass profits so if Sunak's going to go around and arbitrarily steal that profit the investment that's needed in that sector won't be happening and as a result of that the output of energy oil gas etc um, it's going to reduce in the future because of that lack of investment the other thing to bear in mind is that um, he'll also finance this, this splurge in, in help, government spending, uh, by printing money. And by printing money, he's going to be throwing, it's like trying to uh, put out a fire by um, throwing petrol on it. So printing more money will create more inflation. And uh, what will happen in about six months' time is that Martin Lewis will come on the TV again and um, BBC and they'll start moaning about the uh, cost of living crisis and people can't cope and Sunak will do the same again he'll announce um, more money printing schemes to fund more help and the result of that will be more inflation and a few months later there'll be more pleadings for help and the solution will be more money printing and another help scheme and uh, this is the doom loop that the UK economy is now in um, uh, apart from the states, I don't really see many other com countries actually doing this. Um, things have just gone, gone completely uh, crazy in the UK. And um, obviously the, the main goal I feel is that they want to inflate away the currencies that, um, the fiat currencies that we already have to create the, the, the problem, you know, and um, that they hope that we'll react to it by begging, you know, for a replacement. And the replacement will be the solution that they've wanted all along, which is the central bank digital currencies linked to social credits that will be linked to social credit scores. And uh, that's the digital control grid and your sla slavery is uh, complete at that point. Okay, so that's all that I want to say. Okay, so God bless you. God bless you.